guys welcome back to my channel i wanted to really quickly show y'all some things that i got from the goodwill so let me get started um i actually took the prices off of the books because my daughters were um going to use them but um i still remember so the first book that i got was this one Pooh goes visiting and it was only 59 cents and I really like the look of it, the colors, and like the vintage looking drawings that drew my attention a lot. So pretty and yeah, I thought it was a good price. The second book that I got was this Scooby-Doo and the Mysterious Map. My daughter loves Scooby-Doo so I was happy when I found this one for her and this one was 79 cents. And I think it had a green tag, all the green tags were 30% off. And then the third book that I got was this, The Cat in the Hat. And this one was 99 cents. And yeah, I love when I find Cat in the Hat books at um, the Goodwill because as you can see, they are $7.99 regular price. And yeah, they're growing their, um, their collection. It is a little bit written on the front, but that's okay. And then I got this um, Monsters, Inc. book for my little daughter. She's two years old. And this one was 79 cents also. And I think it was the green tag too. And she really loves Monsters, Inc. She loves the movie, so I got her the book. And she was very excited for the little pages. And then the last book that I got for them was... Uh, the Biggest Pumpkin Ever, and it's by Scholastic, and it was supposed to have stickers inside, but it didn't, so I just took the little page off because, um, yeah, it, there weren't any stickers in there, and I got this book for, you know, the fall time to um, decorate my daughter's room with, and yeah, it's so cute, and she really liked it, it's about pumpkins. And this one was also um, 79 cents. I also found uh, some books for myself. Um, not to read them, just to decorate the house with. Um, so I found this one. This one was 99 cents. And it's called The Imperial Presidency. And I don't know, I just like the, the cover. It's gray and neutral. And the red. So, yeah, I was excited to find some books today. Usually, I don't have any luck with finding like, vintage books like these. So, this was the first one. The second book that I got was just this normal uh, navy blue book. And it's today's best nonfiction. And this is The Spine. And it was 99 cents. And I, I'm really into blues lately, so I was happy when I found this book. It does have some illustrations. Um, there you go. But yeah, I was I was excited to find a blue book um, just to grow my book collection. And then the third book was this really old, um, I don't know, like book says going steady someone drew over it with a brown marker I don't know why they would do that but um it's dated and it's 5856 so that is pretty cool and it's it was from a library but um I was happy to find a really vintage book just like I said to grow my collection and I like how it's all like worn out and stuff and yeah, um, and this one was also 99 cents. And then the last book that I found was this really cool book, The Wild Things by Dave Eagers. And this one was 99 cents also, but I love the way that it looks. I love the spine. It's also worn out a little bit. This would be a great book to decorate with for Halloween or anything like that and yeah uh, I was so happy to find this 
It just looks really awesome and whimsical. So this was the last book that I got. And then you guys, I found these two like um, picture frames. One is slightly worn, has like maybe some water damage, and this one is fine, but um, it says they were made in Italy. They were $1.99 each. This one says it was made in Italy. There you go. And yeah, um, I was thinking of maybe changing the picture, but I don't know. I kind of like this little girl. And maybe use it for my daughter's um, room for decoration. I mean, I have two girls, so this is kind of cool to decorate with. But yeah, I really like the look. And I was so excited when I found them. I mean, $1.99 was a little too much, I think, for them. But I couldn't pass them up. They're really beautiful. And then the last two finds that I got were these awesome shelves from Ikea and they are the the Reba Focus things. they are the Reba shelves and I have been wanting some of these for a while but I've never gotten the chance to go and actually um, buy them uh, I didn't really want any black shelves but I'm just thinking of painting them white and maybe wearing them out a little bit so they could look uh, distressed and yeah the, those were $3.99 each and I was shocked when I found them I was like wow how come no one has picked them up yet but yes uh, I'm so excited to show you all guys in another video how they look and I'm planning to use them in my daughter's room so now I can either display her little books here or just put any little items that she likes and yes so this was an awesome find so um yeah guys that was it for my goodwill haul I hope that y'all enjoyed this please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new to my channel and please let me know if you would like to see more videos like these. I really enjoy going to the Goodwill and finding treasures. So I hope you have a great day and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!